All right, everybody. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow, she sure knows how to stir up some controversy. She did it again by sharing her daily wellness routine, which many people right now are saying it's, quote, out of touch and even harmful. So uh, wellness, according to Gwyneth, means fasting, bone broth for lunch, a lot of vegetables with her paleo-style dinner, and some dry brushing and sauna not, action. Not while she's eating, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I hope not. not All right, so, I mean, there's a lot of backlash anytime Gwyneth opens her mouth about something. <laughs> so what do you make of this reaction, Lanes? <laughs> I don't know, for me personally, it's the bone broth that sets me off. <laughs> I know. That's the thing that the sets thing, you up. I guess maybe because I have a cultural tie to it, um, bone broth or where it has been pulled from now is a big part of Asian culture and has been for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And so when we, when we hear about bone broth, it's just like the soup or stew that we have with most of our meals. And the fact that she drinks it like a flavored water, <laughs> right? And because typically in, in the wellness, so in right the now. wellness community, you go and you get this bone broth. It's like $10, Yes. right? It's a very, it's expensive. And it, it's it kind of, it's watery. It's like brown water. I love it though. But uh, good. <laughs> we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk because the way it is traditionally in Asian cuisine is it's not just the water. You have the bones from the beef or the chicken or the fish, but you also throw in herbs, medicinal roots, seeds, veg, yeah. and it, it's more like a stew, and you get all your nutrients that way. But you know when she's drinking it like a water, a flavored water, and then the lifestyle community, yes, please, that's water. That's actually real water, not bone broth. And the lifestyle community is co-opting it without understanding how cultures have, have really put it as part of their cuisine for different reasons. This is the stuff that makes me, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I you can't rage over this. this. I rage over it. It's the fasting for me. Yeah. It's the fasting. My, my husband's friend was over last week and we were talking about like fitness goals and he suggested fasting. And I said, unless you want to see me on the news. <laughs> In a bad way. For violently attacking people on the street because I'm hungry. We're not gonna fast. And, and this is the thing, like, why are we still admiring people's routines in 2023? Mm. You have money, you have people to bone your broth and, and, <laughs> and, and do all kinds of stuff. And then regular civilians like me could barely get up at six. And I'm supposed yeah. to be like, oh, tell me the ways, Gwyneth. Tell me ways. I just, I'm jealous because she was married to Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> This is just so, it's very LA. You know what I mean? Like this just feels like an LA thing and I, I, I agree with you, I don't know why we look to. There's also pockets of Toronto. Like, it, well, okay, sure, pockets of any urban center where there's a, 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 a certain amount of like very affluent, very yeah. wealthy people. And I was thinking as you were talking, like it's the, the jacking up of the prices of bone broth mm -hmm. as well. Like it's, it's something- $10 at Whole Foods. Right, that is ridiculous. And so yeah. it's the Gwyneth effect when somebody like her says that and they've decided that it's a posh, health thing, it catches on and then it jacks up the prices for everyone, which is also very problematic. I'll just say, not in Gwyneth's defense, because I will not defend her, with the jade eggs and the things that she's talked about, in particular in the realm of sexual health that yeah. really, really bother me. I'll just say the reason why people are turning to people like Gwyneth is because there is an absence in the traditional medical system that we still aren't addressing, particularly for women's health. Mm -hmm. So every time a woman goes to a doctor and complains about something to do with the way that she's feeling and she is dismissed and she is turned away and she is sent home, then we open up this vacuum where wellness experts and gurus swoop in and like basically become charlatans and they're peddling their wares. So until we resolve this issue and start listening to women and trying to resolve and maybe even mixing, like all kinds of different uh, holistic belief systems, then I think we're gonna continue to see charlatans come in and swoop in and take advantage of women, unfortunately. I will say, I will say, say, hold my hand as I say this. Culturally, people of certain backgrounds have been doing this forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Gwyneth and friends discovered it on the Googles. <laughs> and then people are like, my God, Gwyneth. Thank you. Oh. I think, but I think you're hitting on something. <laughs> I, but I think you're hitting on something because 
I do share my wellness online, mm -hmm. but it's the spirit with which I choose to do it that I think differs greatly than Gwyneth. You guys know I've been going through a lot of skin issues and I've been sharing it, but I am A, not making money off of saying do this, and then in the backside, I'm pocketing all this money. Right. But also B, there's a lot of women in particular who are also experiencing the same thing. So to your point, Cynthia, there's a gap. Their doctors are not listening to them. We're all hiving, we're all itching, we're all dealing with gut issues. Nobody's listening. So I've been going through this journey and sharing it, but it's the spirit with which I do it, which is, advocate for your own health. Go to your doctor if you're lucky to have one. A lot of women don't, a lot of people don't in this country, shockingly. But if you're able to get to one, tell them your symptoms and don't walk out of there until they listen. Yeah. And so when I'm out there sharing, I'm not trying to pocket money yeah. from you. I'm trying to hopefully empower you to ask some questions. Here's what I've learned in my journey. Now it's up to you to take care of your health. What's good for my body, what's good for Gwyneth's body, broth or no broth, we're not made the same. Yes, we're all human, but we all have such very different physiologies. So don't go listening to her, but maybe take something that you might have heard that she said, go to your doc, she's not a doctor. You have a doctor or please go find one or, don't go to her. She's not a doctor. All right, no. I think we settled that. Yeah. Tina Paltrow is not a doctor. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.